In this video, I'll be explaining object origins in Blender. So object origins are the center of an object. And if you select the object, then you should be able to see the origin right about there in the center. It's generally in the center of the object. And you can see that little orange dot right there is the object origin. If I click on this object, you can see there is the origin. And you can also hide the origins by clicking right up here on the overlays. And then you can click on origins there to hide it. Or if for some reason you can't see it, you might want to check this and turn that on. You can also also check on origins all and this way even if you don't have an object selected it's still going to show you the origin point of those objects so as I mentioned the origin point is basically the center of an object and so each object has a default location rotation and scale if I press the N key to open the side panel and go to item you can see there are transform settings so for an example this cube here I've moved it over to the side so you can see the location value has now been moved but you can see I haven't rotated the cube at all so the rotation is still zero. So the origin point is going to be in the very center of the object. And so if the cube is back to the very center, then this will say zero. Or if the cube is moved over and I turn it to zero, you can see the cube is now back in the center. And because the origin point represents the center of the object, now the origin point is in the very center of the 3D scene. You can see the little orange dot right there. So if you've moved an object or rotated an object or scaled an object and you want to move it back to the default transforms, you can press Alt R, Alt G, and Alt S. So Alt R clears the rotations. Alt G clears the grab or the transforms, and then Alt S clears the scale. Now, if you move an object in object mode, then the origin point is going to move with the object because you're moving the entire object. And again, the origin point is representing the center of the object. However, if I go into edit mode by hitting the tab key, I can select the entire mesh and I can move the mesh around. But because we are moving the mesh in edit mode, we're not actually moving the object. We're just moving the geometry, which is inside the object. So in object mode, the origin will move around when I move the object, but in edit mode, just the mesh will move, but the origin will still stay where it is. So the object is staying where it is, but the mesh inside the object can still be moved. Now let's say you move an object and you want to make this object the default position of the object. Well, you can see the origin point is still here. So if I press Alt G, now you can see the origin point is going to be in the very center there. So if I click on the cube, you can see that's the origin point. It's in the center. But let's say I wanted this to be the default position of the cube. Well, once I move it to that position, I can press Control A. That is going to bring up the apply settings and there's rotation and scale, but there's also location. So I can click on location. And now that I've done that, you can see that the origin point is in the very center there. So if I press Alt G, it's not going to move. And if I move the cube over and press Alt G, it's going to be in the center there. So again, when the object's transform has been applied, the origin point will always be in the center of the 3D space. Now, because the origin point is represented as the center of the object, if I rotate the object or scale the object or move the object, it's going to move from the origin, not the actual mesh of the geometry. You can see if I hit S to scale, I'm not scaling it from the center of the cube because the origin point is right here, not over here. And if I rotate this, I'm not rotating it from the center of the cube. I'm rotating it right over here. And so there's a bit of an offset in the rotation. However, this can actually be changed. This is just the default transform set settings within Blender. So if you go right up here to the transform pivot point settings, the default is median point and the median point is the object origin. So that's the default one. However, there are a few others you can choose from. So there's this one here, which is 3D cursor, and this will change the transform point by wherever the 3D cursor is. So if I move the 3D cursor over here, this is now set to 3D cursor. Now, if I rotate it, it'll rotate from the 3D cursor and not the object's origin. Then there's also the individual origins, and this is for if you are using multiple objects. So if I just set this to median point, which is the default, and then I select both of these objects and scale them, it's going to scale from the center of all these objects. However, if I click right here and change it to the individual origins, it's going to scale each object by its own origin. So let me just change that to individual origins. Now I can scale this and the monkey head is being scaled from its origin and the cube is being scaled from its origin. And then there's also this one here, which is the default one, the median point, and that just rotates from the object origin. And for most things, you're just going to leave it set to this one. And there are a few other settings, but I'm not going to go over all of them because that's not the main topic of this video. Now let's say you have a very specific spot where you want the origin to be. For an example, let's say I want the origin to be right in the corner of this cube so that I can scale the cube and rotate the cube from that corner. 
Well, there are a few different settings in Blender that you can use to make the origin at a specific spot. So the first one we already talked about, which is just to move the cube. So I could like move it right here in the center. I could move it here in the corner and then I could go here and move it down. And then once you've placed the cube to wherever you want, you can press control A and you can apply the location. And so whenever you apply the location, it's going to set the origin point to the center of the 3D scene. So I can now rotate the cube around from that corner. Let me just move the cube over in edit mode though, so that the origin is more into the center. So that's the first way to do it by pressing control A and applying the location. There are are some more options though. So I can also click right here on object and then I can go to set position and there are a bunch more options you can choose from. So I can choose the geometry to origin and this instead of moving the origin will actually move the geometry to where the origin is. So if I click geometry to origin the cube was here but now the cube has moved to the very center of the origin. So if I rotate this you can see it's rotating from the center. Let me just bring this over here in edit mode so now the origin is down here. So another one is to click on object set origin and you can do the opposite which is origin to geometry. So if you do this, the origin point is going to move to the center of the geometry. And so that's very useful as well. You can also click on object and you can click on set origin and you can also do the origin to 3D cursor. And so wherever the 3D cursor is, that's where the origin is going to be. To move the 3D cursor, you can hold down the shift key and then right click, or you can also hold down the shift key and right click and drag, and that's going to move the 3D cursor. However, I use the right click select in Blender. So I just left click to place the 3D cursor. So let's say I just want the origin point to be here in the corner, I can click there to place the 3D cursor, then I can go object, set origin, origin to 3D cursor, and now it's going to be placed where the cursor was. And then there are also a couple other ones, but I've actually never used these before. I've never really had any need to use them. Now certain modifiers that you may be adding to an object can be affected by the position of the origin. For an example, if I go here to the modifiers, I can click on add modifier and I can add the mirror modifier. And what the mirror modifier will do is it'll mirror the object from the origin. So if I go into edit mode and move the cube over, you can see that the origin point is right there. And again, because the origin point is representing the center of the object, the mirror modifier is going to mirror it from the origin. And of course, there are more settings here, like you can mirror it on the Y or the Z, and you can mirror the cube around. But just keep that in mind that the mirror modifier is affected by the position of the origin. And that's another reason why you may want to move the origin point. And if you're having problems using the mirror modifier, then I actually have a trouble shooting video on how to fix mirror modifier problems, you can check out that video with the link in the description. Now another thing in Blender which can be affected by the origin point is physics. So I have a plane here and I'm over here on the physics properties and I'm going to add the rigid body to the plane and then I'll change the type here to passive so it doesn't move. Then on this cube here, I'll also add rigid body and on this one, I'm going to leave the type to active. So if I now play this by hitting the space bar, you can see the cube just falls down how it should. However, I'm going to duplicate this cube and move it over, but then I'll go into edit mode and I'm going to move the mesh of the cube over so that the origin is in the very corner and I'll move it up. So if I now play this again, you can see that the weight of this cube is acting all wonky. And that is because, again, the origin point is representing the center of the mesh. And so here you can see the mass is one kilogram. And so Blender basically thinks that all of the weight is right here in the corner. And so that is why when I play this animation, this cube works fine, but then this cube tips over. And that's because all of the cube's weight is down here. So if you're having this problem when you're doing physics, a really easy way to fix it is to select all the objects. And then you can click on object, set origin, and you can do the origin to the geometry. This way, the weight of the object is going to be in the very center of the mesh. And this way, when I play it, now the cubes act normal. And if you'd like to learn more about physics in Blender, then I also have a beginner tutorial on rigid body physics. You can check out that tutorial with the link in the description. So that's going to finish it up for this video. So thank you for watching. I hope you found this helpful. And if you'd like to learn more tips in Blender, you can check out my Blender tips tutorial playlist. I'll have a link to that in the description. And if you'd like to help support me and this channel, you can also check out my Gumroad store and my Patreon page and the YouTube memberships. Those are great ways to help support this channel to help me keep on creating these free tutorials. But I hope you found this helpful and thanks for watching.